Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? Welcome to my Fallout 76 100% to find outfit video. In this video, I'll cover a few. Uh, the clean army uh, fatigues, not the under armor, uh, not the military fatigues, which are the under armor, but I will show them uh, here as well. Everything is in one spot. Uh, but not the ar the clean army uh, ah, fatigues. There's just so many of them. Plus the helmet and the bandana. Uh, now, let's not waste any time and jump right into the atom shop. Alright, to start off, I'm going to explain where you can find the helmet and the, the military fatigues. I'll show them right now because they're actually on this server right now. It's pretty hard to find them, by the way, by the way, so you'll need to do a couple of server jump, uh, server hops. So, uh, this is the camp right here, uh, not far away from Flatwoods. By the way, I already covered the military fatigues. You can find them in Eastern Regional Penitentiary. You can find them... Uh, in uh, West Deck, by the way, by the way, inside West Deck, and actually Army Helmets, if I'm not mistaken, and Military Fatigues, I saw them in White Springs. So this location has pretty much everything but not the Military Helmet at the moment, because I did a few server jumps, I guess people are picking it up, or the server's just simply not loading them. Now, some of the locations that I'm going to show you have random uh, spawn. So sometimes it spawns a military fatigues and sometimes it spawns a dirty army uh, fatigues uh, that I have right now. But the army fatigues, you can acquire it on a very rare case scenario once you're doing the data mine uh, quest. And I'll show how you can do the data mine in case if you're new and uh, you don't know what that is. <laughs> Alright, so let's begin. So once you fast travel or you come here, what you need to do is enter the building. By the way, over here you also get to do the quest that's called um, back to the basics I bet I think and it, that's you do it only one time it's a, I think it's a part of the uh, main main storyline and basically if once you complete it you'll get I believe the dirty army fatigues like uh, but not the clean version that I'm wearing right now and you will get the military hat the uh, helmet so uh, the green bandana can be bought at the vendor at White Springs, uh, yeah, if you server hop a few times, you'll find it there eventually. Plus the common one, uh, since all vendors are now in ser uh, in one area, so that makes life a lot easier. But I found my bandana right here on this spot right here. Uh, then why this place is also good is because you can uh, pick up a lot of the clipboards, and clipboards give you springs, if I'm not mistaken. And Oh yeah, you can also find a typing machine, a lot of military ammo back which give you ballistic fiber, so those are good. Uh, adhesive, also good, but this is a good place to get a few springs. So you can find a clipboard right here, you can find them right here, you can find some over here, and so on. Basically, this is a good place to come and farm uh, once a day because, you know, once you pick up the item, the item will not be available for you for the next 24 hours. Well, as far as I know, I'm not sure if any patch have changed. Now, have in mind that some of the videos uh, that where I cover it, if something does not appear, that means something has been changed within the patch. All right, so if you come here, you'll find your military fatigues. Now, as I said, military fatigues are your Under Armour. So, yeah, I already covered that one. <laughs> it has the most views from all of my 100% to find videos. Uh, the next we're going to take a look at is a random spot location and, and by the way, in one of them you can also find the actual helmet. And there's a, actually a lot of helmet uh, locations but I did a few server jumps for me it's almost midnight so I decided you know I'm not going to show it. Now there, this area right here, this one right here right, over here you find military fatigues or dirty army fatigues so it sort of changes because I did a few server hops in hopes of finding the helmet and unfortunately I was not able to but usually you can find the helmet on one of the beds or just lying over here if not in this one then uh, you'll need to look over here so basically just I would recommend to uh, fully investigate this area and you'll find a lot of cool stuff 
So, uh, let's take a look, by the way, on the difference. Dirty army fatigues, right? So, let's take a look on the clean version once again in more details. This is the clean version, right? Now let's take, take a look at the dirty version. And of course the dirty, the clean version is way better. <laughs> uh, bam. Alright, we can throw those away. Uh, I don't need them. So, uh, all of these I've covered and now let's go do the data mine quest. Alright, so the next is where to do the data mine. Right, so in order to do the data mining, you need to get the. Oh man, I forgot what's called <laughs> the data disk or something like that. We'll get to it right now. So you need to go to the White Spring Service entrance and have in mind if you haven't completed the Enclave, uh, I hope I pronounced that correctly, quest, uh, you will not be able to enter this bunker. To start that quest, just go to this place right here, the abandoned waste dump, and over there uh, it will trigger the quest once you find the elevator and set your journey. So, let's go inside. So as I said, without having the fingerprint access, <laughs> let's call it that way. Oh man, it's midnight, so I do apologize. And I'm sort of rushing this video up a little bit. Yeah, I live in Ukraine, by the way, if you didn't know. <laughs> so. Ah, uh, the loading screens. Alright, finally. So, by the way, over here in the vendor, I covered this section. Uh, over here you can find the forest scout mask. But I think they've changed something because I was not able to detect it for a few days now. And I think I'm going to have to take one of my videos down or, I don't know, rename them so that they, they will not pop. But... My best guess, they made it like with super rare stuff. So, in this vendor, I found the forest and the urban scout masks. But you can also earn scout masks by doing the enclave enclave uh, quests. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. <laughs> so then you navigate here, run here, get to the military wing, and here you go. Uh, search the desks until you find technical data. That's how it's called. Once you get technical data, your te quest will begin. And by the way, here's a quick tip. If you found one, you can still find many. Like, bam. Don't grab it. Uh, don't grab it right now, because it won't. Uh, it will kind of like, not stack. So that means I would recommend pretty much to jump to the location where you complete the quest. All you gotta do is just submit the technical data and uh, go back there pick up that one come back go back come back come, go back come back you know and uh and that in that way you'll get to submit more and by the way once you're doing the technical data knowledge whatever secret quest that is <laughs> hold on let, let the loading screen, screen pass you can get other outfits you can get um the Brotherhood uh, outfits, there are a few of them, Scribe and some other, uh, you can also get the Bumper Jacket, uh, I think you can also get the dirty version of the Scientist, I'm not sure, but I think. So you fill these goals, sometimes by the way if you're lucky enough you can find a 3 star, <laughs> because I remember I used to grind this event a lot, and you navigate over here. Ah, come on, you gotta be kidding me, nobody's doing this quest. Usually this door is open, because it, pretty much a lot of people do this quest, but sometimes as you can see it's locked. You walk inside, kill the cockroach, submit the... Click on this thing, it submits, and then technical data removed. You can jump back to the, get the technical data, and do this event again. Well, I'm not gonna do it. Oh, there you go, I forgot about the engineer's uniform. You can also get the engineer's uniform. Uh, here, let me show you how it looks. Bam. That's how it looks. I think I already covered this one. I'm pretty sure I did. So, um, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the show, and uh, I hope I haven't missed anything. If I did, let me know in the comments. And, by the way, if I mispronounce stuff, please do correct me. <laughs> I will only say thank you, by the way. Because, uh, 
when you are correcting me, I try to learn the word and how to pronounce it. So, you know the drill. Don't forget to leave the like. Always leave your comments down below. And in terms of leaving comments, please don't use full language because I did set up some banned words and your comments are not going to be visible to other users. I will read those comments. If it's something I find very inappropriate, I will delete them. If I find something, yeah, okay, I can let it slide, you know, then I will prove it. Uh, but, you know what I'm getting at, right? <laughs> and by the way, by the way, by the way, if you're here to promote some uh, crappy third party websites that uh, offer to buy caps items for real money, uh, your comments won't work here. I pretty much blacklisted all of those websites, including changing the letters, so that trick won't work on me either. <laughs> so, well, by the way, I actually highly doubt that they've been watching this video all the way till the end just to copy paste their pitch. <laughs> anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you on the next one. So, you have a good morning, day, and night, whatever you guys located at. Yeah, yeah I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> and by the way, if you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. And uh, if you want to help my channel grow, please do. Share this video somewhere in the media, such as uh, Facebook or Twitter or any other platform. Thank you, and you have a good one. Bye. Like, <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I thought I saw everything. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> uh.